I am Reverend Bobby Tyson, Jr., pastor at First Methodist Church, Larnburg. My walk was on PE9 some years ago. As a clergy person, I can talk forever, but I promise to keep this brief. My task for this talk is to share with you where I see God in everyday life. I was successfully heart transplanted April the 25th, 2019, appointed by my bishop one year after transplant. God is still in the miracle working business, even today. I'm proof of that. God hears our prayers, and God does care. Prayer changes things. Our prayers affect outcomes. Prayer does not keep you here longer. Prayer does sustain you while you are here. Our mission and calling is to make disciples. And we do that very thing by participating in our prayers, our presence, our gifts, and our service. Mark chapter 4 reads, On that day, when evening had come, Jesus said to his disciples, Let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd behind, they took him with him in the boat, just as he was. And there was a great windstorm that arose, and the waves beat into the boat, so that the boat was already being swamped. Jesus was in the stern, asleep on the cushion. And they woke him up and said to him, Teacher, do you not care? that we are perishing. Jesus woke up, rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Peace, be still. The wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And Jesus said to his disciples, Why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great awe and said to one another, Who then is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? Now, verse 38 in that scripture is key. When the disciples said, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Christ does care. And therefore, we too should care. Please, therefore, be prayerfully attentive to our words and our actions. For our words do affect others and the work of the kingdom. I see God active in our everyday world, not just in church, a smile, something that simple can be seen or noticed through a mask and can convey joy of service, an element of compassion and concern. People are being swamped by a wave, a tidal wave, if you will, of anger, of hurt, and of opinions. Today, the day that I am taping this devotion happens to be Veterans Day. We can surely thank the Lord for those who serve our country, both past and present, or maybe even find someone in uniform and thank them for their service, or post some thanks on social media. Call someone you know who has served their country, either past or present. 
I was recently getting a prescription filled and when I pulled up to the drive-up window, the employee was trying very hard and I could tell been a long day and gotten very frustrated throughout the day. And she was trying to be just as pleasant and helpful as she could be. And when she placed my order in the basket and I received my medications, I simply said to her, thank you for helping me today. May the Lord bless you. The employee immediately teared and she said with a smile, you too, my pleasure. I thank the Lord for corporations like Chick-fil-A who use that phrase when they fill your orders and you say thank you. My pleasure. May God bless you in this season when we are in the storms of life. For we need to remember we are the hands and feet of Christ through our prayers, our presence, our gifts, and our service. May the peace of Christ be with you this day and in this season. Amen.